Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. In a notable incident underscoring the ongoing airspace security concerns in the Baltic region, German Air Force Eurofighter Typhoons intercepted a Russian Su-24MR tactical reconnaissance aircraft near Latvian territorial waters. The interception was reported by Team Luftwaffe, who also shared photos of the event on social media. The Russian aircraft in question, identified as a Su-24MR, is a specialized reconnaissance variant of the Su-24 tactical bomber. Unlike its bomber counterpart, the Su-24MR is designed for intelligence-gathering missions. Introduced in the mid-1980s following the original Su-24's entry into service in 1974, the Su-24MR operates without a flight plan or radio communication, a common practice for such reconnaissance missions but one that raises significant airspace security concerns. The Su-24MR is equipped with advanced electronic intelligence systems, including side-looking airborne radar, SLAR, and various other sensors, enabling it to collect a wide range of tactical data from the battlefield. It is designed for all-weather, day-night operations, capable of high-speed, low-altitude flight to evade enemy defenses. Instead of carrying an extensive arsenal, the Su-24MR is fitted with cameras, infrared, and electronic reconnaissance equipment, making it highly effective for operations behind enemy lines. The German Eurofighter Typhoons launched from Lielvard Air Base in Latvia, where German forces are stationed as part of NATO's Baltic Air Policing Mission. This mission, operational since 2004, is essential for maintaining the security of the airspace over the Baltic states, Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania, which lack the full capabilities to monitor their skies independently. Germany has been an active participant since 2005, demonstrating its commitment to NATO and the security of its eastern allies. This interception occurs against a backdrop of heightened NATO aerial surveillance over the Baltic states, a situation that has been intensified since Russia's annexation of Crimea in 2014. The increased military presence aims to deter potential aggression and reassure NATO's eastern members. German forces, along with other NATO allies, regularly contribute to the reinforced air policing of the Baltic states, providing jets and support personnel for several months each year. Such interceptions are not isolated events. NATO forces frequently intercept Russian military aircraft near Baltic airspace, often identifying aircraft flying without transponders and failing to communicate with air traffic control. These interceptions follow standard international protocols designed to prevent incidents that could escalate into larger conflicts. As tensions persist in the region, particularly following Russian activities in Ukraine, NATO remains vigilant in monitoring Russian military operations near its borders. These interceptions highlight the ongoing complexities in Russian-Western relations and the critical role of NATO air policing in maintaining regional stability. The continued presence and readiness of NATO forces in the Baltic region serve as a deterrent against potential threats, reinforcing the security and sovereignty of its member states. That's all for now. See you later.